to give your cathedral window quilt a straight border that has color right up to the edge, you're going to flip your quilt over to the back side and you're going to place your accent squares right to the edges of your quilt. And before you do that, you're going to fold the squares in half and you're going to press them. I'm just going to finger press this. It gives you a nice little crease that you can follow. And when you place them, you place them so they're about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of your quilt. And you're going to stitch them down in place. After you've flipped your quilt back over, you can turn your points in. And you're also going to fold your accent block in with it. And then you're going to tack it in the center where you tacked your other points. I like to put a pin in them just to hold them in place before I start stitching. So I've got the corners all tacked down. Now it's time to roll the edge on the bias, just like I did for all the center blocks, and tack those down. When I start, I like to pinch the, the bias so that it's even with the outside fold of the quilt. and take a couple stitches to hold that corner into place. Make sure I can tuck in that, that colored piece because those are raw edges on the corner. And that'll hold that raw edge in there nicely. And then I can go ahead and finish rolling this bias. And it's the same thing when you get to the other end of the arc. You're going to make sure that your point, your raw edge point, is tucked in there nicely. And then you're going to go ahead and stitch into the fold of the edge of the quilt. And this is where you want to take a few small stitches. I know I always say that you can take big stitches when you're blind stitching. But here you want to make little ones just because you don't want those little edges coming out again.